In this video, I'll be talking about meditative art, what it is and the different styles that have inspired me. I'll also demonstrate a step-by-step -step process of creating a general neurographic style artwork and how to personalize it to your preferred art style and materials. Disclaimer alert. This video is not about therapy, and I'm not a professional, just an artist with my own processes and styles. Okay, now let's dive in. Meditative art can open your artistic mind up to new and creative opportunities, but enables your mental mind to relax and forego any pressure to perform. Basically, it's fun and it's free. Shapes. I often draw a single shape, but various sized and at random. Then I use up old paints left on my palette to play with color. Lines and twists are drawn randomly and quickly. Then I round off any edges and color them in intuitively. I'm always playing with colors. Another style is to just start doodling and let the picture evolve into something. It doesn't need to resemble anything real. It's totally intuitive throughout the process. I try and let go of all expectations and just have fun. Today I'll be demonstrating a neurographic style of meditation art. Please feel free to follow along. You can use the supplies that you already have on hand, but I'm using a, my small art journal, a fine liner sharpie marker, a ballpoint pen, and my brush pen by Pentel. I started off with making curved lines all the way across the page at random. Yes, it looks like scribbles, but stick with it. Remember, there is no right or wrong in this, and it's all about following your gut instincts. Next, take anything round to trace. I enjoy using my circle template. You can find the link to it below in the description on my Amazon Favorites links. At random, draw circles and I'm using my Pentel brush pen for thicker lines. I'm also varying the circles in size. Now start rounding off any corners where the lines cross. Think of flowing vessels or a trickling stream of water. Don't rush this process. Take your time and let your mind wander where it will. I find this very calming. But one surprising thing that I noticed about this was how it trains your brain to see it from two different perspectives. One is just the lines, but then your mental eye switches to see the negative space and really see round shapes forming. It's a little hard to explain, but once you begin to see it, your brain will switch back and forth very easily. This is the number one thing that I have noticed that really helps my painting works. Your subconscious brain is being exercised. I decided to play around with color too. I used markers to make colored lines. and then I colored them in. I encourage you to try out some of these ideas using the supplies that you already have. 
Let me know down in the comments below if you try them and what your thoughts are. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more art tips, reviews, and painting demos. Thank you.